Hey there everybody, this is NDM here, welcome you back to another episode of Let's Play Mother um, 25th Anniversary Edition. And in the last episode, we did a bit of exploring around Magikan, the um, weird, strange, alternate world um, where everything is pink and there's conch shells everywhere, and even a castle made out of conch shells, and uh, requires the power of telepathy a lot to um, access certain areas. So, in this episode, we're going to basically be making our way out of Magikant. I have done a little bit of grinding in preparation for this video. I got $608 on my possession. I got to level 13 off screen. And stats, I learnt a new PSI technique, uh, which is PSI Shield Alpha. Um, I, don't, I think PSI Shield Alpha just protects you against certain PSI moves. So if an enemy was to use a certain PSI technique, like you could block it basically with PSI shield. But I never used shield, in, not even in this game, not in um, Earthbound. I think Earthbound had PSI shield as well, but probably just a different name. I can't remember. It's been a while since I last played Earthbound too. So. Um, I'm going to buy the second most expensive one. No, actually, ugh. Oh. Well, I do have a, I do have enough for 648. I just have to go back to the freaking ATM machine again and get some more money out. Ugh. The things you make me do, game, I swear. Maswoosh. So this is the mom eyes. But they called it Maswoosh instead. <laughs> in this version. And the enemies that I was thinking of in the last episode, that if you kill it, um, you get one EXP. But if you let it run, if you run away from it, um, you get more EXP. Or no, I think you have to let it run away from you. You don't run away from it. Um, you get more EXP if you let it run away. Um, they're called Grouchos. They're not called Watchers. I think I got them mistaken with another type of enemy that looks kind of the same. Well, it's one of those freakish eye-looking enemies anyway. I know the Watcher is one of them. I just don't know which one it was. Um, so use telepathy to make the old man appear, talk to him again, make a transaction, take some money out, and then go to the store and spend all your money, and then get your item, and then lickety split. <laughs> so we'll get $50 out, because that's more than enough. Which means we'll have $8 left over. Because we're buying the angel band, we're not buying the um, the fairy band, which I think was what it was called. Yeah, fairy band. So we'll buy the angel band. It looks like you can't hold any more. Oh yeah, I can't hold any more items. Dang it! Can I sell things here? I don't know if I no, I can't sell. Ah, oh, that sucks. Can I just toss it then? Yeah, I don't think you get much money for selling that anyway. Because who would want to buy a cracked bat? <laughs> I mean, it's cracked! <laughs> you want it in good condition. Oh, actually, never mind, I'm going to have $10 left over. I thought it was 650 That's a weird number. $648 for an item? Usually they round it up to a number like... Well, an even number, you know? So let's um, find out where this uh, maze place is. That's what we gotta do now. Oh, actually, I didn't even equip the band. The uh, angel band. I didn't equip the angel band. Let's just get this battle over with so we can do that. inventory and go ahead and equip it. So that should boost our defense up a little bit. And you got a defense up to 46 now. So that will help out a lot <coughs> for the uh, upcoming area that we'll be taking on very shortly. So it's down here somewhere and it's uh oh god. Okay, now I got to remember which one it is. 
Because it might have changed. I don't know. I know it's one of the bottom ones that it is. It's around here somewhere. I know it is. Oh, where are you? You just have to wander around until you eventually run into it, and then it'll take you to the maze. And from there, I'll know exactly what I'm doing, hopefully. That's if they haven't changed the maze to make it more confusing. I don't think they'd do that, though. Or am I even in the right area? Wait, there's more down here, actually. But I think I already checked these, I'm not sure. Well, we're soon about to find out. I should have taken a flying man with me. Because he could have provided it as a good shield. <laughs> but I know against the snails, flying man won't do much good because the snails have really high defense. So you need someone with a good um, offense and good defense. And Flying Man does not have, possess either of those. <laughs> does not possess good defense, does not possess good offense. So Flying Man would just get crushed against these guys. But I don't think you actually fight um, snails inside the maze. You mostly fight those eyeballs and something else, I think. You, uh, I think it's called an urchin, from what I remember. Or Ulrich, or something like that. You fight them. But yeah, it didn't take that long to get to level 13. It took me about five minutes, at best, to get to level 13. So, it was pretty quick. I mean, well, there you go, we just gained another level, so we're now level 14. Guts rose by three, speed rose by three, Status rose by 2, Vitality rose by 2, IQ rose by 3, HP rose by 6, PP rose by 10. Sweet. Alright. Uh, yeah, this could take a while. I don't know which one it is. Because it, it clearly isn't the same as the original. It can't be. Cause it, oh, there it is. Finally, I found it. Alright, so now I've got to remember the route that you have to take here. I think it's left, right, right, then left, if I remember correctly. So left, then you go right. Okay, no, that's obviously not it. Um, so is it left, then left again? No, it is not. Okay. Maybe it's right, then left. Or right, right, then left. Or right, left, and then left again, and then right. Okay, <laughs> so it's uh, right, left, left, and then right. That's how it goes. I just got them mixed up because <laughs> I was like, because I was like left, then right, then right. Oh no, I'm getting them mixed up now. <laughs> uh, see, it's so late at night. I just can't think straight. Nintendo learned a new PSI power. Sweet. So let's see what that is, shall we? Okay, it's not a healing thing. Hasten? What's hasten mean? I don't know. Siri, stop! <laughs> Can you hear that? I don't know. Siri just went off randomly for some reason. Like, dude, shut up. Every time I say serious, it always says, like, Siri just randomly just comes up. All the time. PSI stone. Oh, that could be handy actually. Um, let me get rid of. I don't want to get. I might as well get rid of the magic herb actually. I don't need that. Reason being is because the um, big bag is basically carrying multiple of those, carrying multiple um, magical herbs. Because you can always keep using that big bag, and they will always give you... It will it will last you throughout most of the game, because you have um, healing magic that you can use. But the big bag is always good to compensate as a good, reliable health resource, instead of relying on magic all the time, because there's going to be a point 
where, well, there may be some points where you might run out of magic and you have no means of healing yourself. The big bag is very useful to have in that situation. So. And speaking of speaking of which, I I do need to heal myself, so let's get some help before I die. Oh, he was almost about to do a combo attack. Or should I say she was about to do a combo attack. So I guess I didn't get rid of the combo attacks in this either, so that kind of blows. Sorry if my, micro my microphone made a loud sound just now. I moved my hand over, or my arm over the microphone by accident because I was itching my nose. Hand itchy nose. Let's get some health up before we do this because we're going to fight a boss shortly. Well, technically a mini boss, not a... I don't even know if this boss is obligatory. I think it's optional. Like, you don't actually have to fight this thing in order to beat the game, but it's recommended that you do because um, you get the onyx hook for doing this, and the onyx hook is very good. Helps you um, teleport to Magic Ant whenever you want. And we will definitely be needing that because um, there will be some situations where we will have to come back to Magic Ant to buy items. And you don't always want to keep going back to that cave to get back to Magic Ant. You want to be able to get there um, at free will. So. Sadly, I don't have offense down, so his attack is kind of crazy right now. And he's always doing a combo attack, it seems, so that's no good. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's... Oh, God, he's got me down to 5 HP. This is dangerous. <clears throat> I'm getting lucky that he keeps missing the first hit. I'm just going to keep healing until I get sufficient HP before I start wailing in on attacks here. Because you know, one mistake and you're screwed, basically. <laughs> Come on, finish him off, there we go, haha, <laughs> sweet. You won! And we should, yeah, we definitely gain a level for that because it's a boss. Guts rose by 3, speed rose by 2, status rose by 2, vitality rose by 3, IQ rose by 3, HP rose by 3. Yeah, because bosses usually give high EXP anyway, so was kind of expecting that. Right, so, considering we use PP in that battle, um, actually no, we're going to get rid of the rope. We don't need that, so toss that. Get the hell out of my inventory. Clogging up all the space. So now we got the Onyx hook, so we can access Magic Ant now whenever we want to. Very handy indeed. Alright, now let's get out of here. Alright, you don't want to open this present because it has a weapon in there for Teddy, and you won't get Teddy until much later in the game, so don't bother opening that chest. Um, yeah, that's all I'm going to say about that. <laughs> right, so talk to this guy who is um, blocking the exit way to the real world. I'm a forgotten man. I might as well not exist. Ugh, you didn't have to notice me. Just ignore me. So you keep talking to him and he'll get fed up eventually and he'll let you pass. Um, I'm a nowhere man. It's best if you don't give me words of kindness. I can't live on like this if I start to miss people. My conversations are always a monologue. I've always been alone, from my moment of birth. Good luck, bad luck, it doesn't make a difference. Sometimes breathing is almost too much for me. Why do you insist on talking to me? Are you a forgotten man too? Yeah, unfortunately so. You know, sad. Liar, I know there's a girl waiting for you. Leave! Leave this place! Be gone, foul human! I'm a nowhere man. Oh god, I gotta go through all this again? You gotta be kidding me. You are like a monologue. Repeating the same dialogue all over again. You're just about as bad as an answering machine. <laughs> oh, come on! I was tapping the A button too fast and I wasn't paying attention. I promise this will be the last time we have to read this. 
and just don't press A too fast. So you say no, yeah that's what I figured, yep. Now just hurry and ignore me already. So I think you say yes here. Good, thanks. Alright. Okay, it's basically just like a questionnaire thing. If you get the wrong answer, you screw up. Or if you answer the question wrong, you screw up, should I say. Okay, guys, well, we made it out of Magic Hand, and now we're back in the real world, so... Um, in the next episode, let's play Mother 25th Anniversary Edition. We shall be making our way to Marysville, which is the next town. So until then, this is NDM saying thanks for watching. Take care, everybody, see you in the next video, and goodbye.